Good morning, folks. Those who know about solar radiation management know part of the idea is to mimic volcanoes. Well, how about volcanoes reacting to the climate rather than merely affecting it? Almost doesn't seem real. To the extreme weather shifts I've mentioned, as part of Antarctica is showing rapid warming, remember they set a record for high ice just a few months ago. 5.8 hit the Black Sea off the coast of Georgia, former Soviet, not USA. It's the largest quake there in a very, very long time. The West Canadian coastline took another moderate tremor, and volcanic activity is increasing in Argentina and Chile. Tropical Cyclone 4 technically makes landfall tonight, but the event has begun in Somalia. Flood alerts posted. Europe, the game is simple. Large lows like this drive the weather patterns. Unpredictable shear on the southeast side and shifting rain bands within make checking your local forecast the only real way to know what's coming. USA, it's a bit easier to determine. With Draco gone, it's time for winter storm Euclid to take the stage. It's another big one, already creeping over the west coast, causing major wind and precipitation events up north into Canada, with Pacific moisture getting ripped right over the Rockies. Should be some major snow totals when this is done. There is another bit to Euclid that will push through quickly with the rest right behind it. The convergence line will see severe weather down south tomorrow, with the east coast affected midweek. We'll also take a quick look here at today and tonight's thunderstorm warning zones. Both the neutron and muon monitors show modestly increasing cosmic ray density. Here are the Enlil spirals, Sun in the center, stereo spacecraft on the left, Earth to the right. Top is the solar wind density, bottom is the speed. Now having just ended a fast coronal hole, speed is low and the density is somewhat elevated, but we have another coronal hole pushing a speedy wind stream right at us. Earth is about to be caught in co-rotating interactive regions. Simply put, sharp changes in solar wind speed, density, and even temperature can be as causative of geomagnetic instability as a coronal hole stream or coronal mass ejection. You can see just how these last three days, Earth will come out of one stream, enter calm, and go right back into another. Coming back to the sun, we absolutely do have a couple dark coronal holes facing Earth. At the 10 o'clock position to that central coronal hole is the primary active region on the sun. Turning to face Earth directly today, it does hold a beta gamma magnetic class, which bodes well for large flares, but we just aren't seeing them as of yet. I was hoping that saying no fear wasn't really needed anymore, as the rest of you should be on point now. So let me simply remind you to keep your eyes open. Your mind is your weapon. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.